day two. And it's uh, now 7.40. I've uh, been awake about, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even tell the time. <laughs> yeah, it's early for me. <laughs> Sorry about the little flashing, but lights coming in the window. Um, yeah, had breakfast. Just got, I brought my cup of tea back up here. I'm going to have my cup of tea. Get changed and um, head off to Sands End. Uh, just as well, uh, just as I was leaving the uh, kitchens this morning, that uh, family started coming in. So, looks like they were cooking rice again this, for breakfast as well. So, luckily, I got there before them. <laughs> <laughs> oh no one's in here, this is the communal kitchen. Like the green appliances. Only one well, two sinks but only one tap, which is a bit annoying. Uh, fridges and that, but uh, I bought my own little cooler. Here's the tables. Some cutlery and crockery in the microwaves. And my thermos and my cup. See, I do like green and I like these toasters and, and kettles. It's <laughs> my powdered milk that I mix up. And uh, my breakfast is just cooked, hopefully. And I've got eggs, mushroom, and sausage. Fantastic. There's only ever been one or two people in here when I've been in. I was in last night. It was just a uh, family who decided that the whole kitchen was theirs, uh, which was annoying, but there you go. Good morning, in case I haven't said that before. I'm just leaving the hostel. It is 8.29, half an hour later than I wanted. That sounds familiar a bit to a lot of people. And a uh, little chill to the air, not, it's not cold though, I've got a sleeve of tank top on and shorts, well shorts are just above the knee, I uh, end up buying men's shorts because they uh, obviously have a long leg and they have deeper pockets. Who'd have thought? <laughs> I'm bloody woman shorts, I just don't give you pockets. So I'm going down the. Let's go over here and have a look. Let's turn you off for a sec. I'm on a great big stone wall, but that's where I'm heading. Tide is out, walk along the beach. And this is the old cemetery that uh, I've already got lots of photos of. Going to be a nice day. Already got my sunscreen on. Don't worry, Grace. So we shall uh, see you on the way. Oh, I'm not going down the 199 steps. I'm going down this rather steep path. There's the 199 steps there. There's the path that's... Uh, Runs next to it, well, supposedly a road since there's a van parked up there. Not very wide. A bit of pitch when there's a frost. <laughs> but it is rather steep and some of the lives on it as well. No, I wouldn't want to live there. I mean, there's some nice seaside cottagey looking things, but. to get uh, to your house to, to come up this. It's bad enough where I live. God, I get me. Anyway, I just have to concentrate so I don't trip over. Yeah. Just moving down onto the beach now.
of sand right here we are going to the oh, give your legs a work out that wood we'll go down here and get onto the hard sand hopefully it's harder lots of seaweed oh I do like to be beside the seaside <laughs> I really do. Right, I'm approaching Sands End. Um, it's not as far as I thought it'd be. It's going to be about two and a half miles at the most so I'm going to go on to the waterfall but there'd be a reason why it's called Sands End because the sand ends and I have to go up, up and over that peninsula thing there off the coast so we shall go in and try and find this waterfall Right, there's Sands End, then uh, around there, I think that would be Whitby on that uh, peninsula there. And I am going this way for, oh, I don't know, about half a mile, I think, mile at the most. There's a track up there, might be a bit more interesting. Yeah, you can actually see something from up here. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? Right, I'll crack on. Well, unfortunately I can't find the waterfalls. We might not be able to see them from this side. But uh, I've had to come up slightly. There's a track down there. Climbed up through here. No shorts on, I've got scratched a bit on my legs. Oh, I'm bleeding. Must be some brambles. What a shame. Anyway, a little bit further back down there, there's a lovely seat. So I shall go and sit there and have a cup of tea and look out over the ocean. Wonderful. It's a bit overgrowing. I'll fight my way through the bushes. And just see a track. Look closely. Right, I was over there. You see that little pointy bit? Just on the other side of that. I can't see any waterfalls. I've come around here. Still can't see any waterfalls, so I don't know. Maybe it's only waterfall when it's been raining. And I'm sort of like close to the edge, about as close as I'm going to get. And uh, tracks back over there, just past the dry bit. So I shall go back and find the seat, which seems to have a lovely view. I have my cup of tea. There's a track, and look at this little hidden beauty. Fantastic, eh? you like to see. Thank you. We have a dedicated this chair. Look what I can sit down and look out. Fantastic. Now, in case you ever wondered how I uh, get suntan lotion. That's my back that I can't reach. I have this gadget. Folds like that. 
It's actually sold as a thing to put self tan on you. But uh, I found it actually very useful for putting sunscreen on. Cool, eh? Put a couple of scratches on my leg. There's one on my knee, one down there. These ones are bleeding, but they're stinging a bit. So I'll have to uh, clean those up in a minute. <coughs> On my way back, so I'm just going to make it through this bit. The sea's coming right up now. Not far to go. See the castle and abbey up on the hill there. So hopefully I can just get round here. back on the coast you can see it's up there it's not even going back for receding enough to see the sand so I have to go around on the road right. to Sands End, a little bit further on in search of some waterfalls which I couldn't find, and then I found this lovely seat overlooking the harbour with the whole uh, bay, and so I sat there for a bit, came back to Whitby, been for another walk around the Abbey, well I didn't go in the Abbey because uh, well, it was a bit late, but uh, round and then back down into the town. When I found Captain Cook statue, um, saw some filming of I don't know what, but uh, I filmed it, so that will be included. Tomorrow I walk to Boggle Hole, seven miles, with the full backpack plus water drinking it's going to be a heavy one and um, tonight so I shall be packing up my pack and getting everything ready uh, and tomorrow night I'm sleeping in a dorm because I couldn't get a room that'll be fun not because I like to spread my stuff around <laughs> So if I don't end up on a top bunk, oh my god. Anyway, that is the end for day two.